We have the new wiring design implemented. Basically, we've moved the ground wires back to the appropriate port to have a ground plane based on the ESC and the BEC uh, output voltage being 8.4. Uh, this keeps the voltage from ever touching the ground side of the rail. Uh, even though it's a ground plane, I uh, don't want to take a chance of having a reverse or a minus voltage come back across the uh, Zener diode. 300 uh, 500 milliamp protective uh, circuit breaker so uh, to do that we've wired the red wire and the black wires together coming from the BEC going uh, through out through the ESC uh, BEC side and coming through this red and black wire up through and attached to pin number six of the receiver uh, we've got the same wiring configuration red and black configured to connect to the steering servo and that's going to power uh, that servo again from the back with a hot wire and a ground wire return both carrying 8.4 volts which is set at the factory on the ESC back. From there uh, the LED is configured as it was before it just comes on when the ESC is turned on and the only three changes we made uh, is we now have single control wires three white wires coming out of pins number two three and four which will respectively uh, carry the signal wire about 3.5 volts uh, coming from pin number two that's going to go out through the same system and up to the input portion of the flight controller and that pin number two which is the steering servo is going to go to pin number four which is the rudder input We'll have pin number two, which is the ESC throttle, go up to pin number three, which is the throttle for most of the airplane configurations, and pin number three will transfer a control signal across to pin number three on the output side, which will also go to the ESC control input. And then we have pin number Three, in this case, uh, aux, uh, aux number two, I believe, no, aux one, coming out of the receiver, and that aux one is, uh, which was reserved for the LED, is now the flight mode, or the mode switch, and that's going to come up to an input on pin number five at the uh, APM input side, and transfer into, into the internal uh, software and go through a software switch that'll come through our pin number five receiver, which will set on the transmitter for uh, mode switches, one, two, and three different flight modes. From there, it's a simple uh, smoke check, and we're gonna go do that next. Uh, we've already got the uh, battery plugged in. All we need to do is push the start button and that's going to power up the ESC side, not the flight controller. And we're just doing a verifying check, make sure there's uh, no smoke or heat or anything that's going to come back and burn out the receiver. At this point, we should see uh, the receiver. Uh, no, it's not set there yet. Uh, so we'll have to go walk through the binding process Make sure we bind the receiver to the, oh, there it is. Yeah, we'll bind the receiver to the uh, transmitter. And just take a look at uh, that and make sure it's set correctly.